This is a newly constructed Pacific Palisades modern mega mansion with impressive hillside views. It's got a gorgeous backyard and a private entertainment level. And today we're gonna tour this entire property. But before we do, I wanted to say a huge thank you to the two listing agents, Brooke and Nicole, for letting us do this tour. You could of course find all of their information down below in the description. Also, you should subscribe. Now let's get into it. here today in the Pacific Palisades, located less than three miles away from the beach, about to tour this newly constructed contemporary estate right here. Coming down your exterior walkway, you've got gorgeous, drought tolerant, California native landscaping here. On my right, you've got the garage access, and in front of me, you've got a walkway, which leads you down to more garden sections, and you have an exterior staircase, which takes you down to the gorgeous backyard, which we will be seeing later on in the video. Now, of course, you've got your massive pivot door, which further leads you into your impressive entry. And right when you come in, we've got to talk about this statement piece detail. So you've got this 3D tile work, which actually goes from the floor all the way up to the ceiling. You can see that they have just continued it from the outside here to the inside. You've also got a gorgeous light fixture right when you walk into the home, centerpiece table, and right when you walk in, you are hit head on with the Pacific Palisades views. And I can actually see a little peak of Century City over there in the distance. Now on my right hand side, that's where we have interior access to the garage. And we've also got a guest bedroom, which we're gonna be seeing a little bit later. But before we see that, I want you to actually pan up for me and take a look at the drop ceiling detail that they have here. So the ceiling here is all illuminated with these LED strip lights and the ceilings have been kind of cut out in the middle. So you get this really unique kind of geometric ceiling design. It looks impressive. It's unlike anything we've really ever seen before. Now we are currently on the top level of the property. We have a bit of an upside down floor plan. This first level is your main floor. This contains spaces which include your kitchen, your living space, formal dining table, outdoor seating areas, and wine cellar number one. The level below us contains the primary bedroom suite and access to your backyard. Below that, we have the entertainment level, which has your movie theater, wine cellar number two, and a couple of other cool things, which we will of course be seeing later on in the video. You can see right here, we've got the glass railing, which actually sections off your wooden floating staircase, which does indeed take you to the second level of the home. And we're gonna see that just after this, so you should definitely stick around. Now on my left-hand side, We've also got elevator access, so you don't have to be taking the stairs in this home very often. Chances are you're gonna be using this elevator quite a bit. Now to the right of this section, we've got your glass enclosed wine cellar here. And that is correct. This is just the first wine cellar that we're gonna see in the home. We have another one on the entertainment floor. But of course, let's talk about this one first. You've got space for all of your favorite bottles of wine in here. You've got the wooden panel detail surrounding this section, even going up above here on the ceiling. It's also completely temperature controlled. You've got your own air conditioning in the space. And this room gets a lot of natural light, believe it or not, because you've got this wall of glass on my left and the glass door. Pretty cool. 
Now next to that, we've got a little seating section which overlooks your exterior foliage. This space, of course, gets a ton of natural light. And I actually wanna backtrack a little bit here. We've got the powder room, which has a gorgeous wallpaper design all the way through. We've got your built-in vanity with the dark stone countertops, open shelving positioned below, and you've got your glass light fixtures hanging to the left of this vanity. Now, if we continue back down, I did mention that you do have a guest bedroom right over here past the 3D tile work. Let's come inside of here. We've got contemporary staging all throughout this guest bedroom. You get tons of natural light from this massive window. It also looks out to your garden that we saw in the front of the home. The space is also nicely gated off as well. So no neighbors can see into this room, which is really nice. Now to my left-hand side, we've got the ensuite bathroom, which is complete with the floating vanity. And you've got these integrated LED light strips, which I'm a huge fan of. And you can actually defog the mirror as well. In case you're taking a hot shower, press the button, and this entire mirror will just not get foggy. It's pretty crazy. Now, of course, we've got the glass enclosed shower on my right, complete with the matte black fixtures, and it's nicely tiled all the way throughout but I wanna head back out and continue our tour through the rest of this main level. Also, closet is on my right, but let's head down right here. You've of course got the beautiful views and the exterior seating areas. And we're gonna see those a little bit later, but first things first, let's talk about your formal dining room section. You've got seating for up to eight of your guests here at this royal feeling table. You've got the gorgeous light fixture positioned above this space. You can be eating dinner with your family, overlooking the trees and the hillside views here. You can also see down to the Getty Museum. Now to my left-hand side, this is your family room. Once again, staged with contemporary furniture all throughout. You've got this impressive stone assembly, which goes from the floor all the way up to the ceiling right here in more of a darker shade, but it still complements the colors of this room extremely well. You can also take me for reference, I'm six foot three, and this has gotta be probably double my height. This is huge. You've got the built-in fireplace, of course, beautiful artwork shown above this section, but I imagine this is where you're gonna have your massive flat screen TV. You're gonna be having the movie nights with your friends and family here, or you can have movie nights down on the third level where we've got that movie theater. Again, we'll see it in a bit, but one more thing I wanted to show, you've actually got these sliding walls of glass which take you out to the views, beautiful trees and the hillside here in the distance. You've got Century City, I can feel the ocean breeze. And once again, guys, we are less than three miles away from the beach here in the Pacific Palisades. Now, we've also got views of the backyard, which again, we're gonna see later. But before we do that, let's head back inside the property. I wanna talk to you all about your well-appointed kitchen here. You can see that we've got breakfast bar seating for up to six of your guests and they actually have divided that seating into two separate areas. You've got the lowered part of your countertop and then the higher part of your countertop. I love the dark tones that they have chosen for this kitchen. You've got this dark stonework, which goes all the way to the other side of the kitchen here. Beautiful light fixtures are suspended above your kitchen island. You've also got a complimentary dark wooden tone, which again surrounds the kitchen space. You've got your sink section positioned here on my left-hand side with more matte black fixtures. So again, they chose the dark route for this kitchen, but it's offset by the light French oak floors and all of the natural light that you get in the space. You've also got extremely high ceilings. And on my right, you've got your Wolf designed six burner stove top with a double oven situated right below that. Hood is also nicely integrated above. You can barely even tell that it's there. It's also wrapped 
with more of that dark wooden tone right above here. You've got tons of custom cabinetry throughout. Just take a look at the size, how much space you have. And each cabinet actually has a little second secret cabinet in there, which is pretty cool. We gotta make sure, yes, they are all soft closing here. Also, next to your sink, you've got yourself your panel dishwasher here. You can barely tell that it's there because it matches all the rest of the cabinetry. Next to that, you've got your trash area and you've got your Wolf Design microwave nicely integrated with the rest of the cabinetry. And if we continue down, more of the dark tones here, you've got your refrigeration designed by Miele. And then next to that, you've got your freezer which is absolutely massive. You've got the stainless steel details on the inside, checks all the boxes. I mean, you've got everything in this kitchen. Everything is top of the line. But let's continue our tour back down through the section here. I promised that we still have to take you out to the exterior seating space. So let's take a turn out here. This is it. You've got a couple places to relax, get some work done, maybe entertain a couple guests. You've got the beautiful views once again, trees, hillside, Century City in the distance, pool down below. You've got it all here at this property. Now that's all for this top main level. So now we're gonna take the stairs and head down to the second level, then the backyard, then the lowest level, the entertainment space. So let's do it. just made it down to the second level of the property. This floor contains the primary bedroom suite and backyard access. Plus we have a couple more guest bedrooms here on my left hand side. But before we see those, I want to mention the two living spaces that you have upon entering the landing of this section. So of course, again, you'll see the French oak hardwood floors all throughout. Contemporary seating space, looks over your pool and the beautiful foliage here in the Pacific Palisades. You've also got this glass railing, which sections off your staircase, and that actually takes you down to the third and final level of the property, where we've got a movie theater, a wine cellar, and a gym. And of course, we're gonna see that a little bit later on, but before we do, we actually have another seating space right here. More contemporary furniture throughout, You've got a gorgeous light fixture suspended above the space. And I also should mention, when you're relaxing here, you're getting these beautiful interior architectural views. I mean, take me for reference for a second. Look at the size of this floating staircase here. I'm six foot three, and this has easily gotta be twice my height. The floating staircase also has the gorgeous glass railing. It just looks impressive. Now on my right hand side, we've got elevator access. And in front of me, we've actually got a lot of built-in cabinetry here. And next to that, you've got your stainless steel refrigeration, maybe get some water bottles in there. So when you come out of your bedroom, you don't have to go all the way up to the kitchen for some water, just grab it right there. Now, if we continue down, we have just entered the primary bedroom suite. It is the largest bedroom in the entire property. It's staged with impressive contemporary furniture throughout. You've got the hanging light fixtures positioned on either side of the bed. Wooden back wall goes up all the way to the ceiling here. It adds some additional character to the room. You've got an additional seating space located in front of the bed complete with this dual paned fireplace section surrounded with this marble detail which goes from the floor all the way to the ceiling and you could just take me as a reference and see how tall this thing really is that's pretty remarkable now of course you can be enjoying the warmth from that fireplace here in your primary bedroom living space or in the primary bathroom space and we're going to see that section in just a bit too so hang tight but before we see that I actually wanted to mention here that you've got these sliding walls of glass leading you out to the impressive backyard space. It's got seating areas, a pool, a hot tub, a private waterfall, and a couple of other details. But we're gonna wait. We're gonna show you that a little bit later. 
before we do, let's continue down through this space. We've got access into the primary closet and this is truly impressive. It feels like we have just entered a designer boutique or something on Rodeo Drive. I'm a huge fan of the layout and the look of this space. You can see that all around the closet, we've got the LED strip lights, which go from floor to ceiling. You've got all of the built-in shelving, the cabinetry, the drawers. You've got the center island right here. And if you open this up, you've actually got all of your built-in jewelry organizers in the space, which is remarkable. And then you close them up, they're soft closing, and then you can actually see what you're storing from this upper glass panel. Pretty cool design. Of course, more LED strip lights. You've got the glass paneled cabinetry here, which opens up. You got some spots to hang your clothing. And of course, these are all soft closing. Don't worry, you're not gonna break the glass. It's not even possible. Continue down, more shelving spaces. You've got the Chanel boxes, the Louis Vuitton, the Gucci, Versace, all of your favorite designer brands can be stored in this closet when you buy this house. Amazing. Now let's continue down. We've got some linen cabinetry here. Once again, it's all soft closing. And then here to my left-hand side, we've got the primary bathroom. You've got the dual vanity right when you walk in with the marble countertops. You've got the dual sink. The section is also floating off the ground. And of course, these are all soft closing cabinets in kind of a bluish gray tone to match the rest of the colors in here. You've got your glass enclosed shower section, nicely tiled on the floors, and then you've got this impressive stone detail, which goes from the floor all the way up, even on top of the ceiling here. That is impressive. I love kind of the wavy details they have on this stonework. You've got two rain heads plus a built-in body spray, and you've also got your stone design bench seating. And if you look down below, instead of it floating off the ground, it's actually extending from the ground in a triangular formation, which is something I have never seen before. Triangular bench seating in your shower. That's pretty crazy. Also, if it gets hot and steamy, you can actually vent out the steam from this upper glass panel. Pretty cool. Now, directly to the left of the space, you've got your freestanding tub, which overlooks the impressive Pacific Palisades views. You've got views of your backyard, of course. And next to that, this is the other side of that fireplace that I mentioned to you all. We see more of the stone details going up to the ceiling. Enjoy the warmth from the fireplace in here while you're taking a bath, looking out at the foliage. You can also look out at your pool too. Now in front of me, we've got a water closet. And if we continue our tour back outside of this space right here, we are back into this seating area, which we previously saw. We've got views of the floating staircase, other seating area on my right, along with the backyard access. We're gonna see the backyard just after this, but before we do, let's take a turn down here to my left-hand side. We've got a guest bedroom, which is staged with contemporary furniture all throughout. You've got yourself the sliding door, which of course leads you out to the backyard. You are a mere four steps away from your pool area. Now in front of me, we've got the ensuite bathroom, which has a floating vanity, a nice tile work detail on the walls, glass enclosed shower, doubles as a bathtub. You've got the mounted rain head, built-in body spray, and you've got one of those LED light strip mirrors. So you press the button, you can change the color. Pretty, pretty cool. Now let's continue outside of the space right here. We've got your closet area on my right. Directly across the hall, we've got your laundry room, which has space for two appliances, built-in sink, stone countertops, upper and lower custom cabinetry as well. It definitely checks all the boxes. Now let's continue down to my left-hand side. This is the final guest bedroom here for this level. You've got more contemporary staging all throughout, a desk section to get some work done. You've also got this sliding door, which again leads you directly out to the backyard. You can once again wake up to beautiful views and wake up to just walk out to your pool every day. Pretty amazing. 
Now, if we head down this way, you've got your walk-in closet on my right. And then here on my left, you've got the ensuite bathroom, which has a floating vanity, similar stone details on the countertops that we have been seeing. And you've got a 3D textured tile design, which goes from the walls all the way into your glass enclosed shower, which again doubles as a bathtub. And one more time, you've got one of these LED mirrors press the button and it changes colors. I just love that feature. Now let's head back down through this hallway here. And that actually concludes our tour for this secondary level. But now we're actually gonna just head right past this living area and check out the backyard. <laughs> gorgeous backyard. Upon entering, we've got your massive pool area. You've also got a Baja shelf when you first walk into the pool. So maybe have a couple pool chairs here, relax halfway in the water if you want. You've got some water features here. Integrated hot tub is also located here on my right. It's nicely separated with this tile work detail. In front of me, we've got a couple of seating sections and an outdoor kitchen, but we're gonna see that in just a bit. Before we see that, I wanna continue our tour down through this space. We've got three staged pool chairs overlooking the pool and overlooking the remarkable foliage views here in the Pacific Palisades. Just imagine waking up and seeing this view every day. I love the foliage and I love the fact that you were less than three miles away from the beach. You're getting that nice ocean breeze up here, views of the modern architecture. You've got a couple more seating sections and access up to your top levels. But let's continue our tour down through this section here. In front of me, we've got a couple more seating spaces, L-shaped couch with a built-in fireplace. This area is also nicely railed off for safety reasons. You've got an outdoor staged dining table, which can seat up to six of your guests here. And next to that, this is the outdoor kitchen. You've got the built-in refrigeration, sink section, and of course, you've got your stainless steel barbecue, all top of the line outdoor weatherproof appliances, great space to entertain, overlooking the view, have some people relaxing in your pool. Now, that's all for the second level and the backyard. So now we gotta head downstairs and check out the third and final level. So let's do it. just made it down to the third and the final level of this impressive property here in the Palisades. You can see right when you come down the stairs, you are led into an open concept movie theater slash bar area. You've got seating for at least seven to 10 people in this movie theater. Massive screen, of course. You've got the plush walls surrounding the section as well. So you're getting that true immersive soundproof experience like you would normally have in a regular movie theater. It's staged beautifully with contemporary furniture, of course. You've also got this floating cabinetry section located here on the far side of the wall. And you've got exterior access here on my left and a utility closet. Also, I like how this section is nicely carpeted. And if we continue down, this is one of my most favorite features of the entire house here. So you actually have your glass enclosed wine cellar and they actually have exposed the foundation of the house inside of the section. So you're getting that raw, unfinished look in here with the concrete. You even have one of these rustic sprinklers exposed in this area too. How cool is that? You've got, of course, all the built-in racks for your wine. You've got the LED strip lighting lining the perimeter of the glass panels here. Really cool section, I like this a lot. And also what I really like is the fact that directly across from the space, you've got your built-in bar area with the refrigeration, stainless steel, of course. Next to that, you've got the built-in sink section. You've got the dark and the natural wooden tones here. And if we continue down, 
This is the staircase that we came down from. I also like how they nicely section off the area with these custom vertical wooden panel details. Now, if we continue down here, we've got your entertainment area. You've got the staged pool table, seating sections throughout. Beautiful artwork is also located on the walls in the space. You can be playing a game of pool, looking out at the foliage here in the Pacific Palisades. Such a remarkable view. I love this picture window here. It also brings so much natural light into the space. You've got a bit of a nook living area here, staged with some furniture, and you've got some built-in custom cabinetry there. And if we continue our tour down through this space over here, on my right-hand side, we've got access into a full-size bathroom here, complete with a floating vanity. You've got the quartzite countertops, mounted mirror with the LED strip light details, and you can also defog it with the press of a button. So it's not gonna get all foggy if you're taking a hot shower here in your glass enclosed shower. It's nicely tiled from floor to ceiling here, and you've got some cool artwork in the section as well. Now, if we continue outside of this space here, as I mentioned, seating areas next to the picture window, we've got this extended hallway, which further takes us into your private gym. You've got the staged stationary bicycles, massage table, some mirrors to give you that true gym feeling. You've also got an ensuite bathroom in here, of course, with the floating vanity. You've got the mounted LED mirror. And next to me, that's where you've got the glass enclosed shower, which is tiled, of course, from the floor all the way up to the ceiling, like the last one that we saw. You've got a closet on my left. Great space to get your workout in. You come out to the hallway, you look out at the picture window. You've got the exterior access here on my right-hand side, but Overall, I'm a huge fan of this home and that actually concludes our tour today for this property. I really hope you enjoyed this home as much as I did. This one was incredible. Huge thank you to all of the listing agents involved with this listing. Of course, you can find their info down below in the description. Make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.